Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna do another haul video and this is gonna be from my October, November, and then like the first week of, or the first two weeks of December. So we're gonna do Sephora, Ulta, Bath and Body Works, TJ Maxx. Okay, so first I went ahead and went to TJ Maxx and I got a few other things, but the main thing that I got, or the only beauty thing that I got was I went ahead and Got the MAC Hyper Real Glow Highlighting Palette. And those are the colors. Very pretty. And I like this. It's good. I'm glad I didn't pay full price for it because it was in my Ulta cart for a long time. But I'm okay with paying like, you know, half price for it, so. Okay, next I did place an online order at Tati Beauty. And I went ahead and got her palette. And look at those. Oh my gosh, look how pretty they are. I have played around with this a little bit. And I will say, I love it, but it has a lot of fallout. So this is a palette that you have to do, or I would suggest doing before you do your foundation. Otherwise you're gonna have glitter and shimmer all over your face so it's they blend like a dream though so you just like and i'm used to do my foundation first so it really throws me off but that's what i've decided of using that so we then went to bath and body works and i'll just fly through these real quick i got two candles and this one is marshmallow fireside my all-time favorite and this has notes of toasted marshmallow smoldering woods fire roasted vanilla and crystallized amber and this one is mahogany teakwood and this smells just like men's cologne oh it smells so good it's like hollister or abercrombie cologne it's amazing and this one has rich mahogany black teakwood dark oak and frosted lavender which i don't smell the lavender but anyways it's really good and so i went ahead and got a little room spray as well because then I got um, like free gift. And so I got this for free. I got the Graphite Men's Collection 2-in-1 Hair and Body Wash. And this kind of smells just like the Mahogany Teakwood one. But um, that's good. And then I went ahead, and this was the whole reason I went for the first place. I wanted to get the flannel hand soap because this one also smells like men's cologne. So you're pro probably catching the pattern that um, I love in my house to smell like men's cologne. Single girl problems. Okay, next we're gonna move on to Sephora. And the first thing that I got is the Drunk Elephant Night Bright um, little duo. And it has the uh, Marula Oil and the TLC Fran Loose Night Serum. And I know I absolutely love that one. And I've been wanting to try the Marula Oil. Marula oil so it comes with those two and then I love my Laneige um sleeping mask so I went ahead and got they had a limited edition one so this one is mint choco and this one smells just like a mint chocolate chip like a thin mint but like a girl scout thin mint Oh, it smells so good. I'm so excited. <laughs> and then, of course, I had to, when they were having their 20% off sale, I had to pick up another one of my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And this is just a classic. I think I've been through. This is, like, I think my third one. And it comes in this cute packaging. And that's what it looks like. I don't use this on its own, I mean, you can, but it's, you know, real expensive <laughs> to do that. So what I end up doing is just mixing this in with another one of my like cheaper setting sprays. So it gives those a little bit of extra hydration and then it makes it last longer. But I highly recommend it. Just do not go overhand with it because it will make you hella oily, even if you have dry skin. And then I got the 
I've been wanting to try this ever since Tati talked about it. And it is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. And it's got SPF 30 in it. And packaging is really cool. And it's got like a twist. It's what I'm wearing today. And I've had it on for probably about seven hours now. So it's fine. I mean, it looks really good, but I mean, I feel like I have foundations that do the same thing. So it wasn't anything like groundbreaking, but I'm gonna try it with like a different primer and see if that works a little bit better or whatnot. And I got it in the shade 120 Ivory, which would be my winter shade, because this is, it is a little light for me, but by the time it warms up to your skin and oxidizes a little bit, it's it's a good winter shade. So. Then I went and I got this Diva Curl No Poo Original Zero Lather Conditioning Cleanser. I used to double shampoo just to kind of get all the gunk and the dry shampoo out. So what I'll do now is I will shampoo my whole hair and then I'll use the cleansing conditioner on like my roots. And then I'll use like a just regular conditioner on the rest of my hair. And that seems to be working really well. And my hair isn't getting like too oily or anything like that, so. And then, look at this. Isn't this so cute? So I got this Sol de Janeiro little mini packet. And it is got, I want to say it was only like 20 bucks or something. And it's got the, you know, a small, not the tiny, but like a the travel size boom boom cream. And then it has a little candle. So this isn't like the full size one, but this, this is just like a little mini. But even without lighting it, I can put this by my bed and... Like, I guess because it's close enough to me, I can still smell it. So I can smell it without lighting it, which is great because then I don't have to use it up. But it's absolutely to die for. And then I did go ahead and repurchase my uni shower sheets. And these are like large body, you know, shower sheets if you need to, like, they're good for like after the gym or like what I do is I bring them to work with me because my job's pretty gross. So um, they just come individually packaged and there's 12 of them in here, but I'll just bring them in if for some reason, I need to refresh and you know during work then these are good for those and they only come with 12 and they're 15 dollars so they're pricey but i don't use them that often so i'm willing to like spend a little bit more because they're very large and i don't use them that often but i know Pas uh, pacifica has like an underarm one but i don't know Maybe I should try that next. I got the Naked Honey palette, finally. And this is what it looks like. Now this is like my color story. This is my, I love the more yellow, like really warm undertones, but I was actually kind of disappointed in this shade right here. I thought this was gonna be like my absolute perfect transition color. And it ends up turning, it looks like nice and it looks very warm. But when you put it on your eye, when you put it on your eyes, it ends up being a little bit more cool tone. Like almost a little like dirty looking. So I was very disappointed. I mean, it's really good. I still love it, but it's just interesting. And then I got the Farsali Skin Goals and it's got a little trio and I was wanting to try, you know, some of their, you know, serums and primers and stuff, but I wasn't wanting to, you know, purchase like a big one or, and I didn't know which one to purchase as far as like the minis. So this one is perfect because it has all of it and it's got the Skin Tune um, Blur Smooth one and then the Unicorn Essence Primer the Rose Gold Elixir, which is the hydrating, and then the Volcanic, 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 Volcanic. Yep, 
elixir, which is the nourishing one. So that's exciting. I get to try out those. And then I did get a couple of like Perfume samples, this is the Ellis Brooklyn Myth one. This one smells good and very clean. And then I did get the Machino Toy too, the second one. This one is amazing. I would be, I don't know, I'm, mm, I'll have to use it more, but it may be one that I have to purchase. I don't know. It's very, very clean. It's got like, peony and granny smith apples and then it like dries down to like an amber musk sandalwoody type of scent which i love so i don't know this may be a good one maybe a winner and then i went ahead and got uh like a sephora 100 point perk and this is the milk makeup cush mascara which i was really wanting to try so and then i got a big purchase from Ulta <laughs> so I don't know I'm probably gonna end up returning this I don't know it just looks so cute but I don't think the quality's there and I'm kind of am learning that they Tend, with holiday collections, they tend to focus more on the key packaging and not as much on quality. So there is the bronzer and highlighter. And then they like that. Then this has a bunch of blushes in it. And then this is the eyeshadow palette, which they're tiny. They're super cute, but they're really tiny, which really threw me off because I don't know. And they're not that pigmented. And then it does come with a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara mini as well. And then I got two of the Batiste Divine Dark Dry Shampoo, my holy grail. Highly recommend if you have brown hair. And then I am like a couple years late to the bandwagon, but I finally got uh, an Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And this one is the Sun Dipped. And that's what it looks like. I can really only use these two. Maybe if I'm tan, I might be able to use this one, but pretty much just these. But this one, the bronze one, Looks like it'd be a good eyeshadow, so. I'm excited, I got it half off, so. I, of course, got another Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, and this is really cool packaging. Look at that. So I still have, I just opened one, and I have another one, but I wanted to get this, like, packaging because I thought it was super cute. I finally got the uh, Juvia's Place, uh, the Warrior Eyeshadow Palette, and I got this one um, at, on sale as well. Look at that packaging, is that cute? And these blend like a dream. I do wish there was, like this color was lighter, and then it would be a lot better, but there's a whole bunch of shimmer shades, so love that. And it's got a good transition color in there too, even though it's a little dark, you gotta use a light hand with it because their eyeshadows are super pigmented. Uh, I got this Milani blush palette. It is in Floral Fantasy. That's what that looks like. Very pretty. Like mid-tone pink, a rosy pink, and then like a shimmery rose. So that should be good. And then I did get this. I think I'm gonna return it. It's the Smashbox Shine Like a Star You Are, and it is the Planetary Cheek Palette. But it just looked so cute online, but whenever you actually swatch them, like this one is a beige with pink glitter. This is like a one that's like NARS Orgasm. And then this is a 
like golden highlight that I can't use. So I don't know. I'm probably not going to use those. So and then I got the, I really wanted to try something from Zoeva because I hear their eyeshadows are really good. So the Zoeva Caramel Melots. I don't know. And that's what that looks like. And this is probably like one of my favorite eyeshadow formulations now. This, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Natasha Denona. Like that's the quality that they are. So I just wish these were a little bit more like brownie warm tones because they're really kind of like pinky. But other than that, they're absolutely gorgeous. Love it. I'm going to definitely have to check out some more of their eyeshadow palettes because they're bomb. And then I just got two samples with every order. I got their I Girl On, the new foundation, and the, the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask that everyone talks about. So then I'm just going to go through my Ipsy and BoxyCharm ones real quick because... <sighs> Those videos don't, when I do them separately, they don't tend to do very well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in my hauls like I have done before. And the first thing we'll start with Ipsy is this Ipsy little palette. And it's like a Z palette. It kind of gives me real like Natasha Denona vibes <laughs> as far as their thing. It came with this little insert in here but you can take that out and then you get a Z palette. So that's really good. Be really good to travel with because you can put just the shadows that you want in there. And that thing right there is worth $60. I don't know, I wouldn't pay that, but then again. Oh, and this is the bag that we got. That's kind of cute got blue ones on and this probably this one made the bag for me because I've been wanting to try this and it's pretty much the same price as the bag um yeah it's 25 dollars so this is the Tarte stay spray setting spray and look at this it's like cute but anyways I was wanting to try this so that pretty much paid for the bag so all the rest of this is just extra in my eyes. I got the Morphe lipstick and matte in the shade Dominate. And cool packaging. I just, and look at that red. I just wish it was, it's a good Christmas red, but like I said in my other videos, I wish that they didn't give us reds. I wish they'd give us nudes that we can actually wear like this one. And then we got two chapsticks. This is from the brand Noah. I remember we got something from their brand. I think it was it was a lip gloss and I ended up giving it to my mom because I don't wear lip glosses, but I, this is in, they have it in uh, vanilla and peppermint, which I'll use the peppermint for sure. Oh, it smells so good. And the vanilla doesn't really smell like anything. And those, let's see, the set of two is worth $7.98. The last thing is from... Evolu, something like that. And this is the super oil. And that is that. I mean, the packaging honestly looks a little cheap because this thing is worth $68. So I'll know better have some real good in there for that price. It says it's instant moisture without heaviness. It is a plant-based squalling oil that goes on like a serum. It soaks in uh, instantly, it doesn't leave any greasy residue behind. And it says to use it in the place of a serum and then follow with a day cream or a night cream, which is very interesting. So if it's like a serum, then maybe I can start using it during the day and like before my makeup and maybe it'll be like extra hydrating. And then last but certainly not least, I have my BoxyCharm Boxy Luxe. So we got a huge 
thing this month. And the very first thing, I'm so excited. This is the Storybook Cosmetics a Fairy Tales palette. And it's in the, it's just like a book. Look at that, it's so cute. And these are the eyeshadows. And I have um, done a look with this and these, actually I think this one and the Zoeva ones are probably my new favorites because this, no, this is the one that reminds me of the Natasha Denona. They, actually I think they're better than Natasha Denona. So I'm definitely gonna have to look into more of these eyeshadow palettes because these blend like a dream. So you'll definitely have to check those out. It's not my favorite like color story, but oh well. And that is worth $55. Then we got the Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. And this is a moisturizer worth $39. And look at it, it's got super cute packaging, little droplet, raindrop on there. And I don't know if this is gonna be hydrating enough. It looks like a gel, I mean it is. So, I don't know, but we'll see. And I got this Yate London Confetti Highlighter, which I have a great to pick. Okay, look, it looks beautiful, right? That's what it looks like. How the hell am I supposed to use this as a highlighter? I mean, we put in our like shades and skin tones and like I put it that I was like the fair shade and yet we get these highlighters that are way too dark like this would be a bronzer on me I don't know I just feel like they do stuff like this all the time and where we can't use things so I don't know that one is worth $32. And then we got the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. And I am probably just gonna go ahead and give this to a friend because I have way too many cleansers that I don't use. But that one's worth $48. And then I got a Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick which is in my purse. So I'll insert a picture of it up here. Um, it's pretty, but it's a lot darker than it looks in the packaging. So it's got more of a like cooler, like gray undertone to it. So it's very interesting because I was gonna wear it today, but it did not go. And then I got the IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. And so I would have loved this in the beginning when I was really wanting to try this out, but I have tried it out and I'm interested to actually try the the second one because they have like three levels. This is a lot. If you need a dry shampoo, this will suck up everything. But it does have that kind of, it gives you texture too, which I don't like. I want it to feel like I don't have anything in my hair. So this is, it's a little too much, a little bit too much texture. But if that's what you like, then you would probably love this. And that is worth $27. And I picked this one. This is the QMS Lip Line Corrector Lip Serum. This thing is worth $200. $200. Who pays for that? It says that it is formulated exclusively, exclusively for the upper lip area. The Lip Line Corrector targets fine lines and wrinkles. This high performance lightweight serum is specifically designed to hydrate and plump, plump lips for a smoother, youthful appearance. Better work magic for that price. And then uh, I did get the, what is this? M Greengrass Dry Oil Spray and it's in Beach Air, which is the perfect thing to describe this. It literally smells like a beach. And 
It says it's got bergamot, citrus, white jasmine, Brazilian softwoods, heliotrope, and musk. And it says it's a multi-use. It says it's for body, face, and hair, which is very interesting because, you know, you could use it, definitely use it for hair. And I mean, I guess you could use it for your body, but I don't really use body oils or anything like that, but it's interesting. I don't know if I would try this on my face, especially an oil in a spray bottle because then it would get it all in your hair. So you'd probably end up just spraying it in your hand anyway. I don't know. We'll see. And then, and that one is worth $36. And then the very last thing is the Daily Concepts Daily Hair Wrap. Just little drying hair towel. And this is worth $18. I definitely don't think this box is quite worth it for me. I feel like it was just a lot of stuff that's just gonna clutter my house up. I mean, it's definitely worth the money, but like you get a lot of product, but it's just not stuff that like that's curated great for me this time. So I already have one of these. So this is just gonna be a gift. This is just gonna be a gift. I can't use that. I mean, I could use it as like a eyeshadow, but it's stupid. Um, we'll have to see on the moisturizer. I think this is supposed to be a little bit more for normal to oily skin. So we'll see if, if I like this, if it's worth it, or if it's a good moisturizer, then the box will be worth it. But we'll see. I already have a mini size of this, so I don't think I'm probably going to give this one away. So, and then this will be interesting to try. If I like it, then that'd be good, but definitely help out the box. Same with this little serum. I just don't see how this is $200 and I've never paid $200 for any type of serum. No, but, and I mean this, absolutely. But I don't know if I would pay $55. I don't know. If I think if I like the color story a little bit better then I would, but I don't know. I'd probably pay a good like 40 bucks or more. Anyways, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I am just gonna do more like every couple months doing like hauls. And I know this one's gonna be pretty long cause I purchased a lot of stuff. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.